The other thing on that aspect, it's really cool to have that footage from one year over the next year because people don't realize when a buck grows, I mean, he's his basically frame stays the same. Very similar, and, yeah. And if you're really worried about, like, is this the same deer or not, when you harvest them, if you look at the antler burrs, I mean, basically they'll match up perfectly. It might be way bigger the next year because mm -hmm. he gained a ton of mass, but if he's got a little jot out here or, you know, something on that burr that's identifiable, you'll see it on every single year. And sometimes they'll throw tines. I don't know if you've noticed this, but you can have a big eight one year, the next year it'll be a nine, and then he might go from being a nine or ten back down to that nine or even a big eight. But the main characteristics of that rack, tines pointing forward or whatever they are, are identifiable. Yeah, and that's I enjoy that part of tracking a white-tailed growth. There's always some characteristic that you can find on that animal. What's really great is when you have a deer that it isn't even antler-related. He's got a double throat patch or, or something like that.